you guys what is up it is ivy concrete catwalk and those of you who are new to my channel welcome i love all things thrift vintage new nearly new estate sailing sailing you name it i love it to my catwalk is welcome back to a new video this sunday those of you who are newly subscribed thank you so much for coming along together on this journey I want to get into this. As you saw from the title, it is not what you think. Let me break it down to you this way. About a month and a half ago, I had a business reach out to me and they asked me if I would review one of their bags. I thought about it because I looked at the site. I decided, okay, I will review one of your bags. So let me set this up for you and lay this all down on the table. The bag that I am about to show you, it is a dupe of Hermes. I'm going to say the word dupe. There is a whole lot of whole lot of going on with said same. And I'm just laying down the law based upon this is strictly a review of what it is that they sent me. I did not pay for this bag. They contacted me and asked what I do a review and I'm going to do a review and it is up to you to make up your mind one way or the other if this is something that could work for you or not. Reason why I said yes, that I would review this bag is because I feel that this bag will be a test drive determinator of if I want to pursue said same on the pre-loved market. And I am not exactly sure if I want this bag or not. So this was the perfect opportunity when I realized I could select what it was that I would like to review and saw this, I decided to say, okay, let's do it. Understand this is a review based upon something that they have sent to me, based upon what I decided that I wanted to review. We're gonna be all on the level on the up and up. And anyone that leaves a comment that says, oh, it's not a thing, we know. We know that the bag is not, would it? Okay, we get it. So let's move on. So that's the base. That's the heavy of all of this conversation. So I'm not gonna address that again. This may be pivotal in helping you select something that you may decide in assisting you in making a decision further on down the road if you want the actual thing. Let's get into this. I have behind me the box that this bag arrived in. The bag that I selected from Bamala Handbags and they sell high quality dupes of multitude of designers. So if you're into, you know what they are, you can take a look and search their site and see if they have something that you could or would or may consider. I want to review it so that if you're in a position where you want to go and do this, let's just keep it 100. Bags can get extremely expensive. This may present an affordable option for some to do. I chose their version of the Hermes 25 Birkin bag. This is the bag that I received. First things first. When I receive the bag, and I will put up here or up here and let the show of the opening of the bag, because this is not an unboxing, this is just me talking about it. I will show me opening the bag and what it looks like, how it looked coming out of the box. So let me get to the nitty grit with this. I took this out of its packaging. First thing that struck me is this bag is all leather. No vegan anything on, a, on this, nothing whatsoever. I'm gonna turn it around so that you can see. This bag is all leather. It is pebbly. This to me is running in line with a Togo leather. The other thing I see with this bag is all of the hardware from the sangles to the holders for the straps. All of that was covered in plastic. The bottom of the bag with the four feet had these plastic protective covers on and I'll give you an example of how this works. You push it on, there's your cover at the bottom. If you wanted to leave these on because you sat the bag down, you could. The other thing with this piece, I'll open it up on the inside so that you can see. It came very nicely packaged. There is the bubble puff stuffing inside so that you can see what this looks like. 
when it is stuffed. So I'm going to take that out. As with the Authentic 25, there is pocket in the front. There is also the zipper pocket at the back of the bag. Now, let me just say this to you guys. I did, and I'll put a authentic picture up here and here so you can see this bag. The markings on this bag are, I will say, I will give it a 9.5 out of a 10. Simply because not nothing to do with quality, nothing to do with the, not, none of that. It's just simply because this is a duplication of something that is a perfect 10. This could never be that. But I will say, if you're looking for something to give you a road test of what it is like to carry a 25, this would be it. Now, moving to the back and the sides of this, everything based upon the size, and looking at the measurements of the Hermes piece and this piece is close to being the same. As far as the handle size, it's the same thing as if you would get on an authentic 25. This, these are very small handles. You're going to get wrist wear or you're going to get the ability to carry it a little bit higher up. And I'm going to stand up so you can see. This is not going up to your elbow area, not at all. So this is either going to be a little handheld, you're going to carry it down low, or you're going to be able to just walk like this with it. For something as expensive as what the 25 retails at, meaning coming in the door, you're at $12,000. If you go and I had a chance to peruse their site just to see what the offerings exactly look like and get the understanding of what quality level this was when I received it, this is their highest quality in that five to $600 range. If you wanna look at the specifics, please go to their site and take a look around. They have a lot of offerings. I'm presenting this to you guys because not everybody is willing or is able to go out and spend two, three, four, ten, fifteen thousand dollars for a bag. There are others who have done that, spent four, five, six, seven, eight thousand dollars for a bag and don't want to do that anymore. It's options. It's simply options. The opportunity to review this bag is going to allow you to take a closer look at what their offerings are not just from this but even going on their site if even if you're curious what i can see so far this is a really good size as far as the weight to this from what i can feel right now this bag is on the, the slightly heavy ish side not heavy but it can get there i'm sure with things put in here i have put nothing in this bag because this is strictly about the review. Now you're going to get into this. You have the ability to open it up. If you want to get a bag shaper in here, I have to admit to you guys, the way this smells leather wise is absolutely, it's, it's divine. Let's get into the tougher things as far as how I feel about this. My feelings about this are mixed. I think it's a fantastic looking piece. But what it has done is it has pushed my thought processes about is it worth spending 10 to 12 to 15 to 20 thousand dollars for a bag if you have an ability to do something that looks almost as nice and put that money someplace else or into some other things that are perhaps much more worthwhile. Now I have to say, this is all in the beholder. Some people do not like replica pieces, dupes, knockoffs, whatever you want to call it. Some people absolutely do not like it. But there is a big discussion going around about wealthy people, men, women, who have the ability to buy something like this authentic, but choose to carry something that is not. And the further we get down to it, you have a collection where you have so many authentic pieces, the thousands upon thousands of dollars spent. Where, where does it stop? Where do you balance that out? 
this bag for me presents that conundrum. Let me just get down to the brass tacks about it. Question, would I carry this bag? Yes, I would carry this bag and I'm going to carry this bag. The other question is, would you feel comfortable carrying this bag? Absolutely would feel comfortable carrying this bag. Would you tell someone if they asked you, where did you get it? I would tell them this bag is not authentic. Straight up, I would tell them because it's not. Bottom line is ultimately whatever it is that you decide you want to get one way or the other. And the only person who would have the working knowledge is you, the owner, and it's up to you to keep it 100. If someone asks me and says, da, 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 the answer is no, no, it's not. But I like the fact that it allows the opportunity to carry something that is very cute. This is not a practical bag. In my eyes, this is not a practical bag. This is something that you grab, you use because it's quick. You're going out, maybe functional for some folks who don't carry a whole lot of stuff. Not exactly functional for me because I like carrying the kitchen sink. But in the end, what I like with this business is you have a choice. You can either go there and look and decide, hey, there's something I can work with or not. Strictly up to you. And I appreciate that Babala reached out and allowed me to select something to give my honest opinion about and was gracious enough to send something like this because I wanted to have the ability to sit down and do a review because I had questions about is this something that I would put my money into on the pre-loved market authentically or not? Let me know in the comments below your thoughts about this piece by Babala Bags. The link to Babala Bags will be in the description box below. Let me know your thoughts one way or the other about how you feel about dupes, replicas, the whole nine yards. Would you carry this bag? Would you not carry this bag? Let me know in the comments below your thoughts. You do not want to miss out on anything that I post. You know what to do. Like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I post videos every Sunday, so if you do not want to miss out, tap that and you'll receive notifications each time I post a new video. Links to my socials will be in the description box below. You can head on over to Poshmark. You can check out my closet. I am Concrete Catwalk on Poshmark. If you see anything there that you are interested in, please feel free to DM me there or you can head on over to Instagram. I am the Catwalks Concrete on IG. Feel free to message me there as well. You guys, thank you so much for stopping by this week. Be safe. See you all next Sunday. Bye for now.